In this video, we'll take you on a tour of the 10 most expensive mansions around California, from the Glazer Estate to the famous The One Mansion. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos soon. Okay, let's get started. Located in the nicest parts of Beverly Hills, the Glazer Estate is unmatched in quality and luxury. With a modern look and feel, no expense was spared for this beautiful mansion. Between the park-like elements of its grounds to its 100-foot swimming pool and even an outdoor water lounge surrounded by ponds, the house is lavish from the second you arrive. The suites are nothing to scoff at either, with a master having dual baths and closets. There's a ballroom and an indoor pool, if for some reason the sunny city of LA isn't sunny and you still fancy a swim. Beautifully merging modern design with some of the old Hollywood look of famous Beverly Hills homes, this one is sure to please. This 27,000 square foot mansion starts at $59 million. Nightingale Drive is home to one of Sayota's luxury modern homes. Sayota is famous for providing fabulous and fabulously expensive luxury buildings all around the world, but the one in Beverly stands out. Offering beautiful views of LA, an extremely open design, and is styled after a conservatory. The materials in this home are of the highest quality, from the imported marble walls to the custom cabinetry in the kitchen. With multiple pools, a gym, and even a dance floor with a DJ booth, this home is designed to entertain. One of the most unique aspects of this home is the car lift that allows you to park your luxury car right in the center of your house. It's hard to argue with a 15,000 square foot, superbly designed Sayota home status, but since it was designed for a client, the price for this beast is currently unknown. When people think of a luxury home, they typically don't think of a fixer-upper, but that's exactly what this house was. After being bought in 2008, the owners gave the good old bones that were almost 60 years old at the time a complete overhaul. Now, it's a beautiful vacation escape in Malibu, and large portions of it have been completely reworked. The flow of the home is much better due to its open floor plan, and many of the rooms were changed from their original positions, such as the kitchen, which is now more central. Many of the walls were replaced with glass panels, and skylights were added for even more light. The renovation was done mostly privately and took over three years to complete, but considering how the home turned out, we'd argue that it was time well spent. What do you think of this quaint home? Let us know in the comments below. Unica, a Spanish villa in Los Angeles, takes up 41,000 square feet. Given its open floor plan, the home looks, feels, and ultimately is gargantuan. The compound is designed to entertain constantly, with a basketball court, wellness center, a 75-foot indoor pool, a sauna, steam room, salon, gym, and more. There is also a 36-person theater and a full-on recording studio, and eight bars. Eight bars would be hard to stock, but with a 1,200-bottle wine cellar, that's not a problem at Unica. And that's just the indoor part. Outside, there's a 20-car auto gallery, another 75-foot pool, and more. This truly is a dream house for many, and the amenities are seemingly endless. With eight bedrooms and 21 bathrooms, as well as a service kitchen and maid's quarters, this house requires a small crew to keep it maintained. At $78 million, this is a dream house in more ways than one for many of us. The Chartwell Estate is best known as the home of the Beverly Hillbillies, and as such, it comes at quite a steep cost. While the home isn't the most impressive thing on this list, its price is up there, as it was the most expensive home for sale in the U.S. three years ago, on sale for $245 million. While there's a lot to dive into regarding the Chartwell Estate, like its extremely well-kept grounds, history, and more, we've actually already covered the Chartwell Estate in another video on this channel. If you're interested in one of the most historic homes in Beverly, check it out. While the Chartwell is almost certainly a touch overpriced, there's a lot to love on the property it's situated on, even if the home itself lacks some modern charm. What price would you buy the Chartwell for? Let us know in the comments. Located just above the Beverly Hills Post Office, the $85 million Wallingford Estate is extremely distinct. Offering stunning mountain views and one of the most detailed indoor private sports complexes you could ask for, the estate is a classic blend of old and new design philosophy. 
The sports complex in question has a basketball court, pickleball court, full gym, boxing ring, and even a sports lounge and bar for the less athletically inclined. 12 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms over 38,000 square feet make up a lot of the home's other spaces. But the outdoor pool area and deep blue half roof lend an element of freshness to this property, and the large windows let a lot of light in during the day. The grounds are also quite large and very well kept, and the interior maintains a modern look. This is a home that knows what it wants to be and does a great job of it. This $99 million mega mansion is one of the greatest homes on our list. At 34,000 square feet, it stands high above the ground, with its many levels showing off its giant glass walls and many lounging areas. The infinity pool in the front offers some nice contrast, as does the circular entrance to the parking garage. The interior of the home can afford to have a ton of rooms, but still feel quite open just because of how enormous it is. The scale of this home is noticeable as soon as you enter, as the entryway is 29 feet tall. Quite imposing, to say the least. The views from this modern mansion are also quite impressive, as the home is surrounded by nature. With 9 bedrooms and 20 bathrooms, there's plenty of space for entertaining, and the amenities are the usual. Everything you could ever want and more. While not technically the biggest or the most expensive, it's one of the most impressive. Famous 007 actor Pierce Brosnan certainly knows how to live it up. With a $100 million mansion in Malibu that spans 12,500 square feet, this tropical home has strong Thai inspirations. While not as big as some of the similarly priced homes on this list, and only 5 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms, the house is right on Malibu Beach and has private beach access, which adds a great deal of value. The ocean side of the house has giant floor-to-ceiling windows, a gourmet kitchen, and fireplace. There is also a custom home theater, private gym, and recording studio. The spa in this house is a highlight, with saunas, a Japanese soaking tub, and more. There's even a two-story guest house on the property. This quaint little escape seems much more romantic than some of the other homes on our list. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments. Steve Wynn is doing his best to distance himself from, well, just about everything, given some of the current allegations against him. That means selling his $110 million mansion in Beverly Hills, too, which includes 11 bedrooms and 14 bathrooms. While $110 million is nothing to sneeze at, the home has a ton of value. A 40-person theater, commercial-grade gym, lovely outdoor swimming pool, full outdoor tennis court, a gigantic wine cellar, and perhaps most importantly, a lot of modern art on display throughout the home. This modern art also adds a lot of value to the listing, even though it doesn't really increase the value of the house itself, which is part of the reason why this home is so incredibly expensive. But really, what Beverly Hills house isn't expensive and jam-packed with amenities? We've saved the best and the biggest for last. While we've done a video on the one in the past, it seems that it was simply too big of a task for anyone in the world. At 105,000 square feet and $500 million, it's bigger and more expensive than just about any home you could think of. However, recently, the giant homes architect Niall Naomi defaulted on $165 million in loans, and the one is facing foreclosure. Whether or not someone will pick up the pieces of what could have been the greatest home in history remains to be seen. But with an entire nightclub, bowling alley, cinema, and some really out there room designs, the one is something special. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss more videos by us. We've got two more luxury videos like this one coming up soon. Why not leave a comment down below about which home was your favorite? Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.